everybody, Anne here, sitting outside in the chicken yard, having my coffee with all of you and the chickens. Oh, oh, someone's trying to fly the coop right now. Oh my goodness, the blackbirds have figured out how to fly on top of that little chicken cage thingy. I'm going to have to do something about that. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what we did yesterday, but first I want to show you some pretty things that I just kind of scoped out around my property that are like very cool. Look at Miss Judy, she's just being such a good girl. Oh my goodness, she loves that bed. She sure does. Look at this. I thought it was a stick at first, but it's not. It's an insect and it's huge. It does move around a little bit. I don't know if this is kind of like a, in the grasshopper family or the praying mantis family. I have never in my life seen one of those, but that is surely crazy. Oh, Lord. And I was out walking around and I found these interesting, I don't know if you call them flowers or berries, but they are on a vine and they, actually it's not a vine. At first I thought it was one of those devil's nightstick uh, things with all the sticky things on the branches, but it's not, and it's not a vine. It's actually part of a, a tree and I have no idea what it is but these flowers are absolutely amazing my goodness have any of you ever seen any of these look at this look isn't that beautiful that is just the weirdest thing ever man oh man there's some odd growing things out here so here, I'm just gonna share a few photos with you. Enjoy. There it is. All right, I got it out on the little piece of dirt that it was on, so I'm gonna see if I can relocate this away from where Judy is, uh, so that, well, Judy doesn't try and eat it, and I wanna see if I can get this thing to get a little bit bigger, just to see what it looks like. Well, Judy got off her lead. Actually, she chewed through the wire. <laughs> so, uh, she's inside right now and it was getting hot. So, um, I went ahead and changed shirts, but let's have a look at this chicken yard. I put the ramp over there just because the chickens can actually hop up and just get back into the van. I use those two little, I don't know, shelf thingies and uh, bungee two logs to them so they can perch up on it. And they love going up and down the ramp. And I've let that, left that little netting on there because, well, you know, it just gives them a little shelter, I guess. And they kind of like going up underneath it there. But I think they like those. You know what I'd like to do is uh, figure out to make a little swing underneath of there so they can jump on a swing and go back and forth. My goodness, these little black girls eat so much. They're so sweet. And the leghorns are still as mean as ever. <laughs> That's right. Get yourself some water. I made them some scrambled eggs today. They didn't like it as well because I put some cheese in it. And I know you're, you know, you probably, I mean, chicken's going to have cheese, but not too much. I just don't think they like the flavor of the cheese. That's okay. I'll get rid of it. Oops, somebody's got a bug. So this is what it looks like from this corner. And it's been working out really good. Yep, they can still jump up and fly over, but uh, they seem to be kind of happy with where they're at right now. And now on the other side of that little chicken cage thing, there's a door. So if I want to try free ranging, I can let them out through that door, put them back in through that door. This is about three times the size that it was. And it is just absolutely wonderful. It worked out well. And I don't know if you can see, but I've got the little uh, solar lights here and there. So that at nighttime, it's just kind of lit up with those. There's like um, 
fireflies, butterflies, dragonflies, not fireflies. Oh, and look at Miss Judy. She's just basking in the sun on her bed. She loves that bed. I'm telling you. Oh no, I guess I guess they like my scrambled eggs this morning. It's all right. So what do you think, guys? I mean, it's not perfect, but it is pretty darn near perfect. I love it. I put the little chicken cage here, and there's a little door right down there in case I want to let them out and see if they can do some free ranging. Got a little bit of extra here I can cut off, but we just attach it to the fence posts, and I'm going to show you what I use to do that. Got my little solar lights out, and it comes all the way over here, and I don't know if you can see, I've just put like some sticks and whatnot to kind of hold that netting down, and I also use some bricks, some parts of bricks, some rocks. Hi, pretty girl. Hello, pretty girls. Oh, ho, ho, you guys get excited. You just want to come follow me around. So, yeah, uh, it turned out great. That's just sitting there for right now. And uh, grabbed a couple extra posts here that weren't really posts, but all of these fence posts, there's 10 in all. The lovely Miss Donna B sent me. And it just worked really, really great. Yep, the spider's still there. Look at that. Huh, I need to get rid of those tags, don't I? But over here on this side, I've just made like a little up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not secured very well. And um, just a little place they can crawl up underneath. And yeah, the, the leghorns are still chasing the girls around. And uh, they got this little ramp here. And it just turned out great. Cody and Hannah came over yesterday, and I tell you what, they had some great ideas, and I'm going to show you part of how we got these in. See this? That's my power drill. That's an auger that is uh, specifically for clay and uh, rocky soil, which is what I have. So where we could not get the fence post driven in deep enough, we just put this down into the ground and dug us a little hole. And this auger was also sent to me by the lovely Miss Donna B. But there's more. They came with a set of gloves included. And these little claw things are just the best. You can get down in there and uh, dig the, dig the whatever is left in the hole out. And look at that. And they clean up so well. So these were really, really great. And there was one more thing. See that cinder block right there? And this was Cody's idea. Some of them, we just could not get down far enough. So he just says, I've got an idea. He went and picked this thing up and brought it over and used it as a, I don't know what you call them, uh, you know, to hammer in each of the posts. And Hannah held it while he hammered it in and he did it long ways and just got those fence posts in. And one last thing I want to show you. Um, I've got that cheaper netting across this and just so that, you know, they can't get out. And we put some boards and whatnot um, to kind of discourage them even more and put some weight on the bottom of the netting. But right here is the door. I just disconnect this, I disconnect this, and just bring it down, crawl over it. That way I can get in and out without having to, like, practically <laughs> do gymnastics to get into it. And uh, everything is just holding really well. It's working great. And hopefully this extra room will help these leghorns just not be so vicious to these baby chickens. So thank you so much, Donna, for the auger, for the fence post, the chicken feeders. You've just, I've told you this a million times, but you have been an angel from God. And I got this project done and it's working out great. I may put something over the top, I don't know. I, I just don't like these chickens flying out, but I'm just gonna have to think about that. For right now, it's working out okay. They seem content just staying inside. And um, every once in a while, one of the chickens will get out. Uh, yesterday, two of them got out, but I was able to get them back in. It wasn't that much of a problem. So, this is great. I'm relieved to have this done. And Cody and Emma, if you guys are watching this right now, just thank you so much. You, you knew how much my back was bothering me yesterday, and it's actually a little worse today, even though you guys did most of the work. Um, 
you guys were fantastic and the ideas you came up with and how you we you know Cody figured out how to get the knitting across and underneath so that the chickens can get up and down into the van and the door could open and close and whatnot you guys just figured that all out and it was great having you here so thank you so very much and you guys I'm hoping that someday you'll get to meet Cody and Hannah Hannah maybe you will um, if they agree to be on camera they don't have to but they've just been really awesome. They come over basically daily just to check on me and see how I'm doing. And when they come over, they usually bring something with them like um, a tub filled with, well, earthworms. They go out looking for earthworms and grubs. And I think there was a salamander once that they found. They brought that, it was just a little teeny one. And uh, so yeah, they're, they're helping raise these chickens. So they're gonna be getting plenty of eggs once these chickens start laying eggs so thank you so very much and maybe someday if you want to you can be in a video but well anyhow so I think that's all I've got for you guys today I'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.